The European Study Group for Pancreatic Cancer, or SPAC, um, was established to try and progress the field of pancreatic cancer treatment, uh, a devastating disease. The SPAC-1 trial asked the question as to whether adjuvant chemoradiation should be used or chemotherapy or the combination. And the conclusion from that trial, also presented here uh, a few years ago, was that chemoradiation um, could not be supported. Uh, the next question was, which of the uh, known active agents in pancreatic cancer in the advanced setting could translate into the neoadjuvant setting. Um, you should recall that in, in my days when I was a young surgeon, and the same goes for um, Nick here, that most patients with pancreas cancer, even after surgery, were dead within 12 months. So you need to keep that figure in your heads uh, uh, as we go through these results. So this is a multi-center, international, open-labeled, randomized controlled phase three trial of adjuvant 5-fluorouracil and folinic acid versus gemcitabine following resection for pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. So this is um, patient selected for the horrible version of pancreas cancer. It was conducted in 13 European countries and although it's called SPAC, there were major contributions from Australia, New Zealand, Japan and Canada. So this is the simple trial design. Um, we required 1,030 patients to be randomized between the two regimens. Uh, in fact, um, we went up to 1,088 because of a few dropouts. The median age of these patients was 63 years, spanning from 31 years of age to 85 years of age. The cancers themselves were typical of what we see. 25% had poorly differentiated cancers, 72% had metastasis to lymph nodes, and 35% had involved microscopic resection margins, or R1. This shows you some of the characteristics of the uh, clinical and pathological variables. Uh, you can see that grade, i.e. whether it's well differentiated or poorly differentiated or moderately differentiated, has a big impact on outcome as well as stage. Involvement of lymph nodes has a big impact and whether or not there's a microscopic resection margin. And you'll notice that all these curves are extending out to 60 months of five years, rather than plummeting at 12 months. We looked at toxicity and noticed three areas of difference. A small proportion of patients on gemcitabine uh, dropped their platelet count, but as expected, there was more stomatitis and more diarrhea in the uh, 5-FU group. This is the bottom line slide. Uh, absolutely no difference between the two regimens. This is extra, actually extremely important uh, because um, there had been a tendency to reject 5-fluorouracil in pancreas cancer and um, uh, now it's very much back on the stage. So in conclusion, there was no difference in survival between the two regimens. The safety profile, however, of gemcitabine was better than that of 5-fluorouracil. Um, and the data reinformed the perfect design of what is now called SPAC-4, which is actually using the combination of gemcitabine and capecitabine, or Zaloda, which is an orally active fluoropyrimidine, in other words, substituting for 5-FU. Thank you.